Good afternoon, everybody. Hey, I was just lucky enough to get one of these uh, packets of AirPods for my birthday, and I thought it was fantastic. It's a, these are really cool, actually. Um, are they the greatest AirPods ever, or <laughs> greatest earphones ever? I mean, probably not. I had a pair of Shures for, they were ridiculously expensive, but they were great until they fell apart. But the one thing I love about these is that I can have them on my ears pretty much all day, and to charge them on here takes about maybe 15 minutes. It's really fast. So. I'm really happy I got them. But the one thing that I found out is that you couldn't connect these AirPods to the PS4 and it's because of Sony's restriction on devices. I'm guessing that's why it doesn't work. And, and Apple's products have problems with the, even the wired ones through the controllers and there's hacks and workarounds, which I saw on the internet, but I never found a way to get this to work. Now what happens is when you go into, I'll get my controller, forgive me that. When you go into the menu here um, and you go to settings, and try to set it up. Whoa! There you go. Settings. We'll hit devices and Bluetooth settings. We'll see here. There's all. There's all that stuff. I got a, way too many dual circuit controls here. Hang on a sec. Let's go. There they are. So you hit AirPods, and when you do that, it says you're out of luck. Do you want to register this? Oh yeah. Oh you! You almost. Bluetooth audio devices are not supported by the PS4, so that stinks. How dare they? Well, I have not seen a workaround, and which is why I'm going to record this video, because one of the coolest things I just figured out, if you have one of the greatest devices in the world, which I'm not talking about these, and I'm not talking about this, and I'm not talking about any of them. I am talking about one of these. Now, I've got the original, and it works with both. I've tried it with both. So I've got the PS, the modern one, and I've got this hoary kind of uh, add-on, which is fantastic for playing games like Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, really enjoy that. And then the original, which I picked up a nice little grip for as well. Doesn't have the multi-touch functionality, but it still makes it feel a little bit better. I still love that one just from heft and just to the screen. So what I found I could do is use this as essentially a controller. So I have this on and I can go this is what's up. So I take these out. Uh, I'm going to take two hands. Give me one second. All right, I had to take those out of the case there. Put them in. Put this one in. All right, now I've already done this. So what you're going to see is when I go to settings, you'll see that they show up right there. Oh, no, cancel, 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 right there. Bing bong. Device name AirPods connected. What? And they'll connect, and I'll hear the, there it goes, ba-doom. Now, what I'm going to do next, of course, is go to, there we go. Boing, 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 oh, move over. And into remote play. Oh, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> Darn left-handers. There we go. So hit remote play. Connecting your PS4. Oh, what the heck? Time out. Now I have everything Bluetooth. I have actually, that I can use my voice to connect. I can use, uh, let's see where my controller is. Is this the one? There we go. Gonna connect this one back up. There we go. So now it's not going through the TV anymore. It's going through my Vita. So everything I'm playing here is being played through my headset. I'm going to see if I can put my headset down here. I wonder if I can play it. Oh yeah, because this isn't an Apple device. So let me see if I can get the volume all the way up. So now to control the sound on Persona, you just use, you can use the volume on the Vita. Uh, come on, where's your volume? There you go. You can hear it coming through there, and it's going to be pretty loud when I put it in my... Oh, yeah, that is loud. But now I'm playing... I am going to be playing Persona using my Bluetooth headset for AirPods. It's the same exact thing. There you go. No sound coming out of the TV, and now coming strictly out of the headset. So what? Yep, and when I talk to this guy, there'll be no sound coming out of the television, but it will be coming out of my Bluetooth. Hmm? There you go. 
I'm almost 90% positive you can't hear any of that through the TV because I have the Bluetooth headset set in there. But there's you go, there's a workaround. You've got a way of playing Bluetooth. <laughs> and again, this is not a great video, um, strictly because it's it's hard to do with one hand and I'm kind of doing this impromptu. I've got like 15 minutes to do this. So uh, excuses aside, if you have a Vita and you have the Apple uh, headsets, you're very rich. Congratulations. Uh, I have them because <laughs> I've been collecting them over time. And I got one for my birthday. But if you're looking for a workaround and you have a Vita, there you go. Right as I got done filming the video, the very next scene, I saw the headphones, and the very next scene has a guy on the subway with a Vita. Look at that. Look at that great guy. Oh, he's so fancy. He's probably playing. Now he's got a set of regular headphones on. Never mind. He's not as cool as we are. But anybody who's got this device, feel free to check it out.